Today we are going to check out the auto scale plugin by Zach Bytes. So the first thing you want to do is go up to the top, click on plugins, move to the far left, click manage plugins. There you will see auto scale light. If to the right you see the word update, click on that button. You're going to get the most up to date version of this plugin. I did that today. So as of July 1st, 2020, I have the most up to date auto scale plugin. So let's get to using this. You go to the far right. You right click on starter GUI, you insert an object. This object will be a screen GUI. Underneath that screen GUI, you will right click again, insert another object. This object can be a frame, text button, text label, image label, text box, image button. We're going to go with the text label. We're gonna move the text label to the far right. We're going to change the word label to one through nine. There it is. Then we're going to resize the wrong way. Text size is 14. We're going to change it to 55. One through nine looks perfect, man. This looks like a great GUI. Let's change to the platforms now. This is this Samsung Galaxy S7. All we can see is one through five. Let's change it to the Xbox. We can see one through nine, but it's off to the left. It's no longer on that far right side. So how do we fix this with this auto scale plugin? It's very simple. The first thing you wanna do is make sure you click on the text label or whatever you're trying to fix. Then you go up to plugins. You have unit conversion or add constraint. You want to click unit conversion. Now, when I first got this plugin, this tiny little box popped up and I didn't even notice. So I was like, what is this doing? It's not like the old plugin where you would click it and then it would change. You have to click this, it brings up a menu and then you can change it from here. You see position scaled, offset, size scale, offset. You could take this, you can drop it right in here, and now it's ready to use right up there. Make it a little easier in the future. So to fix the issue we had, all you have to do is click size, scale. Now we're all set, kinda. You'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. Let's go back to the platforms. And here you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but the one and two are over the edge of the GUI and eight and nine are gone. Why is that? Well, like I said earlier under text label, if you change the size using text size, like we did from 14 to 55, it's not going to scale. And what's the point of auto scaling if your text doesn't scale auto as well? So click the text scale button and look, oh wow, that's perfect. That's exactly what we wanted to see. That's half of this plugin. Now what's the other half? What's the add constraint? Let's take a look at that. Go back to plugins. Here's the add constraint button. What we're going to do is we're going to crunch this screen down and take a look at this GUI background. It looks like a rectangle, but once you start moving this to the side, it now becomes a square. The numbers shrank though, because they are scaled like we did before, but the shape has changed. It's no longer a rectangle, it's just a square. So to fix that, all you have to do is click on text label, go back to your plugin, click add constraint, and you're done. Now take a look. We're gonna start shrinking this back up and it no longer changes into a square. It maintains that same rectangular shape. Perfect. So that's it. That's all you need to know about this plugin. Let's try to look at some potential problems that you might have. So let's make this next GUI a little bit fancier. It's not gonna be awesome, but it's gonna be a little fancier. Insert an object, insert a screen GUI, right click. We're gonna insert a frame. We're gonna insert a text label. We're gonna change the frame to be about that size. Put the text label center. We'll change the background color of this frame to like a silver color. Change the text to problems. I don't even spell it right. Remember, change text scaled. So here's some problems you're gonna probably have. Go through the platforms. You can see it's right there. You can see it's wrongly sized. So you think, all right, let's click on screen GUI for some reason and then click unit conversion, then click scaled. Oh, converted to scale, perfect. We should be all set, right? Let's close that. Now let's go to this other one. Oh, it did nothing. Why didn't it work? Well, that's because you clicked screen GUI, you didn't click the actual thing you were supposed to change. That's an easy problem, right? So go back, click on your frame. Now go back to plugins, go back to unit conversion, change the scale, click scale on the size. 
You're all set now. Everything should work perfect. Let's go back to the device. Wait a minute. It's still wrong. Look how tiny this word problems is. And look at the frame. It's massive. This doesn't work. Thumbs down this. No. What did you forget? You forgot to change the text label. You have to do all of the things you want to scale. You have to click on them and then go to the plugin. Click the unit conversion. Click scale. You have to do it to everything. Now let's take a look. Perfect. Perfect. It works. It's good. Now let's delete this and let's try another thing that you could potentially do wrong. We're going to call this one lower text scaled. We're going to duplicate. We're going to move this up. We'll call this one upper. So you have the upper GUI and the lower one. We're going to click the upper one plug in. We're going to scale it. We're good now, right? Close that out. We're going to change back to see it in the device. Oh no, we forgot to change the lower. Let's change the lower right now while we're still in Samsung Galaxy S7. This could be a simple mistake, right? Go back to plugins, unit conversion, size, scale. Wait, it didn't work. Let's go back to the studio view. It did kind of work. You see it still looks the same from here to here, but they're still the wrong size because you changed one in Samsung Galaxy S7 and you change one in the studio view. You need to change both of them in the studio view or both of them in the Samsung Galaxy S7. They have to be changed on the same platform or you will have something like this happen. And if it's still not working and you don't know what's going on, move over to the left once you click on your text label and go underneath size. Drop down that size menu, drop down the X and the Y and make sure that offset says zero. Offset says zero. Well, hopefully this helped. This is the newest, most up-to-date auto scale by Zach Bytes. I'm going to try to put the plugin link in the description of this video. If I forget, let me know because I forget a lot. Thanks for watching. I'm out of here. See ya.